Hey, Mom. Mom? Yeah? What's up, Kip? Did you hear about the new email thing? What new email thing? Well, Kajabi's email looks entirely different. It's kind of goofy. Huh. I guess we better go take a look at it. Okay. We are going to dive in. We're going to open up Kajabi, go in. I'm going to show you how it looks different. It's still functionally the same. It just looks a little bit different. Icons are different. Some of the headers are different. So nothing like ridiculously nutty, but Kip's right. It does look a little bit goofy. Let's take a look. Email updates from the marketing tab. Now there was new screens. Um, many of you have seen that. You can click the link. And this is where I have put together uh, what I found most helpful, this quick status overview table. And it goes through when we're sorting based on what kind of campaign and then is that status available? So if it's green, the status is available. And if it is the do not enter sign, it is not available. So when you are looking underneath marketing, underneath email campaigns, right here, you'll see we have the choice of all, broadcast, sequence, and event. Those event is the new ad. I have included screenshots with arrows for each of those. So this way you can just kind of follow the arrows. And see where pieces are landing. Is that the event is a new ad. Now here I'm going to stick with this and then we will go back into Kajabi. When we sort on all, these are the statuses available, draft, scheduled, active, and sent. Now, the broadcast, so if we switch to broadcast, the status changes to draft, scheduled, and sent. So this is where I think it's the images are helpful as you're looking, okay, I'm on sequence, currently sequence is grayed out. Also, as far as I can tell, all sequences on the test site and on my current site are showing as active. I did go in and try to remove all the triggers from a sequence and it, thinking that would move it to a different status. It's still listed as active. So I'm sure that is a work in progress. The event statuses available are scheduled, active, and sent. So when you are on your screen and you're filtering by status, if I, for instance, go to draft, and currently I have to go click it to draft and then do a second click and do apply. I'm sure that will change. This is only email broadcasts. The way that I know it is only email broadcasts is if I come in here and I look under event, draft is not an option. You know what, let's just go to the overview board right here. So draft status is available when I'm on sorting by all, but it is only available to broadcasts. So when you are looking and you are filtering, this overview should be very helpful to you. I know it's been helpful to me in just the little bit of time that I have been using it. Come in here. If I unclick this, second click apply, then it resets. Again, I'm sure those features will change the longer that this is out in the world and we are all using it. The other piece I wanna draw your attention to, so again, these are just the screenshots of the different sorting pieces, is the graphic icons. So here, 
There is an icon of two horizontal lines and an envelope, single envelope, and a calendar. What I, I would not put very much weight on these icons currently. Are they different icons than what we had before? Yes, they are. The reason I'm saying don't put too much weight on trying to figure out what the icons do is in this single example, a single status, which is sent right here, has two different icons. So I would not devote a lot of brain power to figuring it out. The more we use it, the more we play with it, it will become obvious. And those are the main pieces that have changed underneath email campaigns. Thank you guys for watching the video all the way to the end. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Ding, ding, ding.